Let's talk about methane. Part three. Methane is the main component of fracked gas, sometimes called fossil gas or natural gas. And while methane does occur naturally, there's nothing natural about the way that fossil fuel companies have been allowing it to leak into the atmosphere and speed up climate change. You see, methane is an extremely potent greenhouse gas. It's 86 times worse for warming our environment than carbon dioxide. Luckily, reducing methane emissions is one of the easiest and cheapest ways for the oil and gas sector to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. How you ask? One way is to eliminate venting. Then they can eliminate flaring. And if you haven't seen our other reels on eliminating venting and flaring, check it out. Third, they can monitor and fix leaks from infrastructure. Methane molecules are incredibly tiny, which means that they leak at every single step of the process. From the fracking well, to the processing facility, from the pipeline and transportation, and from end use, sometimes directly into your home and into your family's lungs. In British Columbia, 80% of gas wells are fracked. And there's a growing body of research that shows that fracking produces more of these types of emissions than other conventional methods. The science is clear. We need a global shift away from fossil fuels. In the meantime, we need to do everything we can to reduce emissions from the oil and gas industry. This is why it's vital that our governments properly regulate these industries. Recently, the Canadian government announced that it's prepared to introduce new regulations on methane emissions from the oil and gas industry and require provinces to follow suit. Show your support for these increased regulations using the link in our bio.